Welcome to teachmeios.com, where you'll find tips, tricks, tools, and tutorials for your iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch. In this brief tutorial, I will show you how to use all of the camera features available on your iOS device. The first feature is that you can access your camera from your lock screen on the iPhone and the iPod Touch. When you hit the home button and the screen activates, you'll see on the right of the slide to unlock the camera symbol. Simply tap that and drag up to access the camera. Once you've got the camera app open, there are a number of different features you can access just by simply tapping on the screen. First of all, you can tap to focus on various parts of the screen. If you want to tap on a certain, uh, certain element in the photo, you can just tap on it. Uh, the focus will change and that's tap to focus. You can actually tap and hold for auto exposure and auto focus lock. So for example, if I want to focus on the lower part of the screen, I tap and hold with my finger and then the AEAF lock appears at the bottom of the screen. If I move the camera up now, the focus stays locked and you get kind of a, a blurry look in the background. This is especially helpful for portrait shots um, and things that you want to capture close up and blur the background. To release that, just tap anywhere on the screen and hold for a couple seconds. The other feature is pinch to zoom. So with two fingers on the screen, if you move them out from each other, you will be able to, to zoom in. Once you've activated the zoom, you can then tap on the slider itself and zoom in and out. Uh, keep in mind though that as you zoom in, this is a digital uh, zoom which basically pixelates the, the image a little bit so you lose a little bit of the resolution. The next feature is accessed in the upper left hand corner where you see uh, on my device right now has off. If you tap on that you'll see that you have various features for accessing the flash. So you can have auto, on, or off and that will give you a, a flash option for taking a photo. In the center of your screen you'll see the options button. Tapping on this gives you some various options uh, for composing your picture. Grid actually puts a grid onto your screen. Uh, this is especially helpful for, uh, for lining up elements in the photo to capture the best photo possible. In addition to grid, you have HDR. HDR captures two photos, one that's overexposed and one that's underexposed, and then blends the two to actually get backgrounds in fuller detail, like on a bright sunny day. It's a great feature there. Uh, the last feature under options is panorama. This is only available on the iPhone 4S and the iPhone 5, as well as the newest iPod Touch. So tapping on panorama uh, will take you into panorama mode. Uh, basically you hit the start button to begin capturing the photo and then it will direct you as you go around the scene and continuously tells you to move up or down and then tapping on the end button captures the photo. You basically get I think 240 degrees uh, of panorama when you click on the panorama. Clicking done takes you back to normal photo mode. In the upper right hand corner you can tap to switch to the front facing camera. This can be helpful in certain situations where you want to take a, uh, a self-portrait and see what you're capturing. So there I am right there. That goes back, tapping it takes you back to the, the rear facing camera. Uh, the last feature is uh, down in the bottom right hand corner you'll see the, the toggle to switch between the camera mode and video mode. Tapping on that switches to video mode. 
So those are the features that are accessible uh, on the iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch for the camera feature, taking photos and video. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Check out teachmeios.com for more tips, tricks, tools, and tutorials.